Good morning to everyone. I am studying in SNS College of Engineering, which is located in Gurma Palayam, Coimbatore, an autonomous institution. The department is Computer Science and Engineering, course name 19 PCS 506 Data Structures. I am particularly studying in second year, third semester. The topic of the PPT is binary tree and its application in AI and DS. First of all, binary tree. A binary tree is a tree type non-linear data structure with maximum of two children for each parent which means a parent has two children which has leaf, leaf nodes and each node in a binary tree has a left and right reference along with data element which means a node in a binary tree has two data elements which are located in left and a right. The node at the top of the tree is hierarchy of a tree is called the root node. The root node is uh, also known as a leaf node. Uh, the nodes that hold other sub nodes are called parent nodes. A parent node has two child nodes which is located in left, uh, left and right that is called the left side and the right side. Hashing routing data for network traffic data compression. Preparing binary heaps and binary search data trees are some of the applications that uses a binary tree. And the main thing, the definition of a binary tree. What is the definition of a binary tree? A binary tree is a finite set of nodes which is either empty or consists of a root and two disjoint binary trees called the left subtree and right subtree which is located in right. It is called left subtree and which is located in right and it is called right subtree. Binary tree. The depth of the node is the number of edges from to the node. The height of a node is the number of edges from the node to a deeper leaf. In this diagram, we can see the height of the node. Uh, we should see the highest number of node in the left and we should see the highest number of node in the right. If it comes to uh, minus 1, 0, plus 1, then it is called as a balance tree. If it didn't come, it is non. It is a non-balanced tree. And the height of a tree is the height of the root. A full binary tree is a binary tree in which each node has exactly 0 or 2 children. A complete binary tree is a binary tree which is completely filled with the possible exception of the bottom level which is filled from left to right. In this diagram, we can see uh, first node has a left is, is called a left side and it is uh, also in the right so it is called a right side uh, which have a child node and the root node and the leaf node also next the binary tree the root node the root node uh, coming from left uh, goes to the left and right which is called as a left branch and right branch from the left branch it is it has a parent node and the right branch it has also a parent node and from the parent node it becomes to the child node uh, parents to child and from also right side it becomes parents to child node and from the child node it has the last node that is also called as a leaf node in the right side also it has a child node and it is also called uh, and from the child node uh, it goes to the leaf node uh, it is the last node so it is called as a leaf node in this diagram the height of a tree from left branch it has a maximum height of two, three because it has a only one we should see the highest number of uh, height which is 3. Binary tree. Leaves or external nodes. Nodes with no children are called leaves or external nodes. Nodes which are not leaves are called internal nodes. In this diagram we can see the root node, child node and parent node and leaf node also. Siblings. Nodes with the same parents are called siblings. Means from um, parents to um, child node. If one parent has three child or four child, it has four siblings or three siblings. Next, AI in DS and its importance. AI technology is important because it enables human capabilities, understandings, reasoning, planning, communication and perception to be undertaken by software increasingly effectively and efficiently at low cost general analytical tasks including finding patterns in data that have been performed by software for many years and can also be performed more efficiently using artificial intelligence dsa dsa plays a very important role in reducing the time complexity of the code a problem might have several approaches but you must pick the optimized one in order to stand out of the crowd. You must be able to write a code 
which takes very less time to execute for any problem statement given. You can achieve it through learning DSA. If you are having a proper knowledge on DSA, you will automatically habituate it to write an optimized code. You will develop those skills which are required for decreasingly the complexity of the node. In this PPT uh, and in this slide, the AI technology is very important to uh, enable the human capabilities, understanding, reasoning, planning, communication and perception. And DSA plays a very important role in this because we must able to write a code in a less time uh, and uh, we can achieve it through DSA. And next. The application of binary tree in AI and DS. Binary heap, uh, which is also known as binary tree variant of an heap. It is used to implement priority queue efficiently, which is turned in used in heap sort algorithm. There are many types of algorithm and which is uh, all, which uh, one of those algorithm is a heap sort algorithm. In binary search tree, we use efficiently the heap sort algorithm. In binary search tree, it is also used to search elements efficiently using collision handling technique in hash map implementations. Balanced binary search tree is used to represent memory to enable fast memory allocation. Binary trees, trees with the two child is used to represent a routing data which validate efficient traversal. Tree, optimized search tree, randomized search tree. Application of binary tree in AI and DS. Application tree is used as a basic data structure in Microsoft Excel and spreadsheets in user. Which is binary tree is very basic thing to study in AI and DS. Binary tree is used to implement indexing of segment, database and S-play tree which is also known as binary tree variant. So binary tree variant is also used in implementing efficient cache in hardware and software systems. Cache. First of all, cache. Cache means uh, very um, low device and it is very temporary, temporary one and it is very cost and it is very speed in which is cache. And binary space partition trees are used in computer graphics, backface culling, collision deduction, ray tracing and algorithms in rendering game graphics it is also used in a game graphics high level graphics such as uh, pubg and like uh, that games and next syntax tree binary tree with nodes as operations are used to compute arithmetic expressions in compilers like gcc aocl and others reference these are the reference of this ppt the applications of binary tree slide share of rajendran Thank you.